But here we, here we are in the passage, and we know Peter at this time, he, he's, he's uh, 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 Peter, sometimes he allows his emotions to get the best of him. Sometimes he allows himself to overstep certain boundaries that never really meant, with, were never meant to be overstepped. Case in point, when they came to take Jesus, and he pulls out the sword, he cuts the, cut off the ear of the man that came to get him. Peter was known for, that's just how Peter was. Peter was going to do what Peter was going to do. And it, and it just was what it was. And we know we know through later on, he matured and grew. But at first, Peter was a work. Peter was a, a real deal task. <laughs> Peter was a real deal task. And, 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 and he was the head over the cussing ministry. Yes, sir. So, uh, <laughs> just something a little funny. So here it is, it says, it said that Peter took him and began to rebuke him, saying, Be it far from thee, Lord, this shall not be, this shall not come unto thee. So, like, so basically this dude is really trying to get Jesus not to fulfill the purpose that he was literally brought here to serve. Even though his intentions were good. And some of us, we have people in our lives that their intentions are good. They just overstep those boundaries. They just do certain things that they just interrupt what God wants to do in our life. And, and, and it's, it, 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 it's not their it's not their fault. They just don't know any better. And, and one thing, and one thing, oh, uh, from verse one two, some people don't mean to hinder us from our destiny, but it's just they just they just do. Some people don't know that you need that time alone with God. Some people don't know that sometimes you need time to reflect. Sometimes you need time to yourself just to be able to process your thoughts and to be able to see what God is doing for your life. But they don't know any better. So here, here they go. They overstepping the boundaries. They saying certain things that they shouldn't say. They doing certain things that they shouldn't do. But they don't know no better. They don't know no better, so it's up for us to really, we have to be able to determine, say, you know what, they don't know no better right now. Let me give them some time to begin to understand and begin to see the call and the purpose on, on my life. Because if you remember, Peter was the one that Jesus, he said, upon this rock, based on what Peter said, he said, upon this rock, I'll be in my church, and the gates of hell will not prevail over it. So sometimes you got to excuse people for the way they are and how they think and the way they are because of who they will be. And sometimes you got to be able to recognize that potential. You got to be able to recognize the potential. I, it it kind of goes along with what I preached this morning and just being able to recognize the potential when the small thing happens. I think the Bible even says that it's the small foxes that spoil the vine. So it's the small things, and a lot of times we feel like, oh, oh man, you 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 being too petty, uh, you being too petty, you uh, uh, you you doing too much, you too excessive, you too over the top. But you, they don't realize that you have a sense of purpose in you, and you just have to accomplish it before you leave. I, I heard someone, somebody said when they die. I can't remember who it was. I think it was probably Miles Monroe. But he said, when I die, I got to die empty. I got to die empty. I got to put out everything it is God wants me to do in my life. I cannot die with my purpose being unfulfilled. And, and I'm getting ready to close shortly. I cannot die with my purpose being unfulfilled. I cannot die not have done the things that God want me to do. I cannot die not have done the things that God want me to do uh -huh. and go in the place that God want me to go. Because I want to let somebody know that God has great places in mind for where he wants to take you. And sometimes everybody can't go. Everybody can't go with where God is getting ready to take you. Everybody's not going to go. I mean, it, it, just, it is what it is. And Jesus, Jesus even had certain disciples that he dealt with more than he dealt with others because he knew that these were the people that I'm entrusting more. These are the people that I can tell are more sincere. These are the people that I can tell that don't have an ulterior motive. They don't have a hidden agenda. They just have a heart for me and they just want to do what it is that I want them to do. So, so, so let, 
let's let's go further. Let's go further real quick. Verse 20, 23. Let's read it. It said, But he but he turned and said unto Peter, Get thee behind me, Satan. Thou art an offense unto me, for thou savorest not the things that be of God, but the those that be of men. We gotta want what God wants for our life. We have to desire the things that God wants for our life. Sometimes it's not always about what we want. Sometimes we gotta we gotta look within ourselves. Sometimes we gotta pray. Sometimes we gotta get to ourselves and see what is it God has for my life. I know that there's more that God wants for me. I know that there's a greater level that God wants to take me to. I know that there's a greater purpose and a higher calling that God wants me to serve. I know God wants me to go to higher heights and deeper depths. I know that God wants me to go up on the mountain. And I just come to tell somebody this is the road less travel. This is the road less travel. Most people don't follow this road. Most people may go to church, but they don't follow this road. Most people may talk the talk, but when it comes down, when it's all, when it's just them, they're not really about that life. Oh, yeah. 